What is going on guys? It is Super Bowl Sunday. Hope you all saw the video from yesterday where I test opened my new Revo X and my Veritas wrench, wrench series rod. Hitting you with another video. Uh, I know I've been slacking lately, but we are getting ready for spring. It uh, feels like spring today. It is 65, 66, almost 70 here in Western Kentucky. And I'm loving this weather. So we're getting ready for spring. And you know what time it is. It's Power Pro time. Getting the heavy rod ready. So watch that intro and we'll be back to talk. <music> flipping rod ready I got it re-spooled with power pro 50 pound braid to a 25 pound p-line fluorocarbon leader with an Alberto knot my leaders you know a couple arm width and about a half what are we gonna tie on Uh, I don't know, but we went ahead and I lubed the reel, which those Abu Garcias are kind of a pain to lube. I may do a video. I need to get a little better with it. It took me a little while. It didn't take me any time to get it apart. It took me a little while to get it back together and well back together, right? So this old Black Max. That I keep as my spare needs to be lubed hardcore so probably gonna practice with this or we'll do a video on how to break these reels apart and lube them my Shimano is real easy cuz flip the switch pop the door off BAM you can pull the spool out lube everything you need to throw the spool back in put it back on lock it these have screws lots of screws and parts and knobs and I need practice but getting ready for spring with this I tied the leader on so I will not be tying a frog on if I was going to put a frog on I'd throw the frog straight on to the braid with a Palomar knot so I'm not putting a frog on because I'm using a leader but I am gonna go with this bad boy. This is the peanut butter magic hybrid jig, half ounce hybrid jig from Six Cents with a PB and J uh, rage bug on it. That's what's going on this rod for now until I deem that. it's time for something else so that's what I'm doing there so I got the big heavy stick tied on I got to Evo Garcia Vendetta 7.6 heavy with an Evo Garcia Pro Max and a 7 1 to 1 50 pound Power Pro 
to 25 pound P line. Uh, I run the heavier braid so that I can cut the leader off, tie on a frog, and I got the I got, I've got a good frog rod, flipping rod. The fish in my lake don't seem braid shy. Uh, we'll have to see when we start fishing different waters. But right now they don't seem braid shy. So, I water's usually a little stained-ish. So, I feel completely comfortable throwing braid where I where I fish all the time. So, next rod to set up is Old Faithful right here. This is my seven foot medium fast with the Shimano Canaan on it. Don't really know what I'm gonna throw put on this rod because I was using this for cranking in Texas rigging everything until well this weekend so right now i've got some 12 pound p line on it i feel completely comfortable i'm going to cut this bad section off down here i feel completely comfortable fishing that until the 12 pound where i fish uh if i'm going to be fishing the real heavy stuff i'll have the heavier rod with the braid so Springtime, water's warming up. I'm probably gonna, if, if I'm bed fishing, I'm gonna Texas rig a creature bait or a worm of some sort to try to get that reaction strike on the bed or wacky rig on the bed, bed or Nico rig onto the bed. So we're gonna go over some more of that. I've got more videos getting ready for spring. I'm kind of going to go down on how I condensed so I condense some stuff to get rid of duplicate lures that I don't fish very often or stuff that I won't fish with the time of year that's coming up. So just stay tuned and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what you're thinking and keep living life.